Okay, so now in the second part, we're going to see the region growing process in action, how it works. So here's a basic image. The black pixels uh, represent the, Im the objects in the image, and these bluish just represent the background. So I'm going to walk you through the process of using the four connectivity, the four neighborhood connectivity in this image. So it's referred to as the grass fire or wave propagation technique or method where if this purple uh, star represents a fire or a wave, where is that fire going to grow and where is that wave going to grow? Um, using the using the four neighborhood method, we're going to use this um, method in the image. So based off of this fire originating in this pixel right here, we use the four neighborhood connectivity and we look at this pixel, this pixel, this pixel, and this pixel doesn't really count because it's not in the image. So based on the four neighborhood connectivity, which way is the fire going to grow? Well, it's not going to grow here because this isn't a part of the object but it's going to grow here and here and that's why you get these you get these new purple um, stars in this because starting from the original fire this is where the fire grew or this is where the wave grew in this direction so next you use the same uh, four neighborhood from this pixel and this pixel and you just determine which which pixels satisfy the neighborhood and which and out of those pixels which ones are going to be appended to the previous pixels so what these two pixels got appended to this one so from here again you use your four neighborhood this one's not in the neighborhood but these two are and from this one these two are so that's why the fire then grows and now it encapsulated this pixel this pixel and this pixel so this is the new region and you just continue to do this throughout the whole entire image and you'll grow the regions and you can see this one grew into now they're all um, yellow stars and that's how this region right here designated region one so then you would go start a new start a new point start a new fire here and you would continue to use the four neighborhood um, connectivity throughout this whole entire image and you would see that these regions would be labeled as follows. You have this region, this region, this, 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 and this region. So going back to that four-step process, you have the second step, which determines which pixels become ones based off of satisfying the predicate or satisfying the similarity measure. Our um, measure was the four neighborhood connectivity. Um, once you determine those ones and zeros, then you cluster them. You cluster them like so into these um, regions. And then the last step was to number the regions. In this case, they didn't use numbers, they used colors. So this color is a separate region, red. This blue ish is a separate region. This aqua, um, purple, yellow, a little darker yellow, and a little lighter bluish color. That's the whole process of going from an original image using a predicate, in this case was a um, the four neighborhood, determine, so lim, deter, using the predicate to determine similarities between neighbor, neighboring pixels, whether they should be appended to each other, whether they should, they should be grouped together or not. And then once you have all those ones and zeros throughout the whole entire image, you cluster the ones together and then when you have those groups clustered, then you start numbering or labeling them different, uh, differently to each other if, if the regions are separate. So that was the four neighborhood. Now let's look at the let's look at the same binary image right here, but this time we're going to use the eight neighborhood connectivity. Just to reiterate, reiterate the eight neighborhood is the entire square around the pixel. So we're also going to look at the diagonals now and that's going to have a, a different effect on that original binary image. So we run the 8 neighborhood connectivity kernel through each point in the image. So we run it through the image and you can see here 
it's going to be the same as the four um, four neighborhood. This these two pixels will not um, will not be similar, so they won't be appended. But this pixel, this pixel, and this pixel will be. And again, you'll get the same region here. The difference, however, is this pixel. When you evaluate this pixel, you're taking this square, you're evaluating the similarities between this square, and the difference here is this pixel will be appended be to this pixel because it's in the neighborhood. So this region and this region will not be separate anymore. They'll be joined. And you see the result here. You have this region and this region, which used to be separate. Now they're the same region. They're both colored red, um, mainly because we're using a eight, the eight neighborhood connectivity which means we're also taking the diagonal. So since these two pixels are diagonal, then they're going to be connected. The regions are going to be connected. And um, also here you can see these two and these two and these two are diagonal. So that's going to that's the reason why these four pixels are are also uh, individual region, uh, independent region. And um, the reason why all the objects aren't aren't um, one entire region is because when you evaluate this pixel you're not picking up um, any of the pixels from the second region here here or here so the eight neighborhood isn't big enough to capture all three of these um, regions it's just big enough to capture these two regions that's why you get only two regions so let's look at another example again we have a a binary image this time it just has more objects so we're going to use the again we're going to use the four neighborhood and the eight neighborhood connectivity and you can see these objects as opposed to the um, the previous example these objects here are a bit more spaced out so obviously you're going to get um, regions that are independent to each other because they're too far apart it, it doesn't matter which um, neighborhood you use there these are too far apart they're going to be their own individual regions so again we're going to use the four neighborhood here and the eight neighborhood connectivity here and you can see a big difference um, not so much in this area but a lot in this this little um plus sign this diamond and this diagonal line that goes from the um bottom to the top you could see that in the 8 connectivity it catches this object as one region this object as another region and this line as as another region whereas with the 4 connectivity because it's only looking at the top bottom left and right this object gets split up into four different regions and this diamond gets split up into many regions and this line is is a region is each pixel within that line is its own independent region um, in the four connectivity because these these um, pixels are all pretty close to each other even around this uh, open spot here and here it's still going to capture it's still going to um, the similarities are still going to be the same so they're all going to get appended same thing in the eight connectivity um, this specific object here is different in the four connectivity again because the four connectivity neighborhood does not um, does not connect diagonals, and since this pixel here and this pixel are diagonal to each other, they don't get captured. Whereas in the eight, where it does um, it does evaluate the diagonals, this becomes one region individually. So I just showed you some basic binary image. So let's look at a more real world image, uh, an X-ray of somebody's skull some type of medical imagery. Um, this one here is using the 4 connect neighborhood and this one's using the 8 connect neighborhood and remember the 8 connect it values the diagonal so it's going to capture more it's going to build a bigger region whereas the 4 connect doesn't build the region in the same way it has less pixels that are being evaluated whether they are similar or not so that's why when the region growing process is conducted on this original image you have Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six different regions, whereas in oh, plus seven and eight, so this the background is actually split into two, and the 
background of just the skull is another one, so I guess nine. So you have nine different regions here, whereas this one has just four regions. It has pretty much the outline of the skull, the inside of the skull, and the outside background that are also split into two. The last thing I wanted to show you was some of the rules or some of the laws that are formulated when using region-based segmentation. So the first one is A, the unions where I equals 1 to N of R sub I equals R. What this basically means is that every pixel in the image must be assigned to a region. Um, this means that the segmentation will be complete. There, there won't be any pixels that don't get assigned to any of the regions that are formulated when you do region growing. So either you're a pixel that belongs to a region that makes up an object within the image or you're, you're a pixel that gets assigned to the background. But either way you're going to be assigned to one of the regions. The next one, R sub i, is a connected region for all the regions. But what this means is that all the points in a given region are connected. So if there is a cluster of pixels that all have the same similarity, they all have to be connected to each other. They can't be um, separated. Which leads us to C that says R sub i intersect R sub j equals an empty set. What this basically means is two regions, if you take the intersection of two regions, there can't be uh, anything in that set. It has to be empty. That means every region that is created when you do the region growing process, they all have to be uh, separate from each other. They all have to be disjoined from each other. There can't be any regions that, any different regions that have the same pixels, basically. The next one is D, which says the predicate of a region is true. So what this one means is the predicate for a specific region should be the same. For example, all the pixels in a specific region in a grayscale image must be the same value or the same color. And that's based on the predicate or it's based on the similarity measure that you use. And that leads us to the last one, which is E, which says the predicate of the, the union of two adjacent regions must be false. And that's basically the opposite of D, which means that the regions, that any regions adjacent to each other are not similar values based on the predicate.